Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick homeschool haul for you. So for those of you who don't know, which is probably most of you because I haven't made a video on it yet, um, I'm pulling my son out of school for next year. So he's finishing fifth grade this year and he will be staying home for sixth grade and I'm going to be homeschooling him. Um, just him. The girls are still going to be in school. But this is uh, what I've got for him so far. I just... I wasn't actually even planning on getting things yet. I was, I'm still looking around for his main curriculum that I'm going to use. So I got this stuff over here from the Dollar Tree, and then I got this stuff from a homeschool curriculum fair thing. It was like um, just like a secondhand uh, other homeschool moms who were selling things that they, that they no longer needed. So I got some things there. So let's go ahead and get started. First off with the um, secondhand stuff that I got from the homeschool uh, curriculum fair. Not really a fair, I don't know what to call it, yard sale type thing. So I got Kids Guide to the United States. It's got a, fl a floor puzzle which of the United States, which is that basically. Uh, the video CD-ROM video game, a sticker atlas, and a large wall map. So it comes in this big box with all this stuff. And my kids, all three of my kids have already played with the puzzle several times, so they are loving that. Then to go along with the geography, I also got this. It's fifth grade geography of the United States of America. We are going to be, he already knows his states, but we're going to talk about the capitals and uh, landmarks and stuff like that this year. Just so I can help him with that a little bit. Then... Um, we were going to do a study on the presidents, but we decided not to do that. But we're still going to, I mean, we can still play with the stuff anyway. So I have presidents flashcards, and these only go up to uh, the last George Bush. Barack Obama is not in here, so it's an older set of flashcards. And then I got this. It's still in the plastic. It has never even been opened, but it's Brain Quest Presidents, which is really, really cool. Um, he's excited to play this, so we'll have some fun with that. Also in the history, I got Election Day because, again, this year is going to be an election year. So we're going to watch this and talk about the election process and all that kind of stuff. Then, oh, this goes along with the states. I got uh, this book on the 13 colonies. Alright, so then I got him these Mad Libs. Uh, this is a pack of two. And then these, just for fun... Um, he's going to have a game box, so when he finishes his work for the day, he um, if he finishes early, then we'll ha he'll have a game box that he can pick things from to play. And it's going to have like different games like Scrabble and um, some other word games, and then this will be in it. And I'll probably put this Brain Quest in that box, too. Alright, so for reading, I just picked up this. Again, it's a 5th grade one, but it's just got like stories. And then questions and vocabulary and stuff from the stories. This is a very thin workbook. As you can see, it's only I don't know. It's only 32 pages. So there's not much in here. So this is just gonna be obviously very, very supplemental. Um, then we have this for math. It's grade four through six, independent practice. So we're going to be doing, um, I already know the, the math curriculum we're going to use. This is just extra, and I thought that if I can find a worksheet in here that ties in with what he's doing in the curriculum, then I'll go ahead and have him do the worksheet from here also for extra practice. And then this I just got for fun. This is uh, about the Constitution, grades 3 through 5, so it's a little bit young for him. But my daughter actually saw it, and she was excited about it, but it's just... Different things. It goes over uh, third grade, fourth grade, uh, fifth grade, different lesson plans and stuff. So that's kind of cool. Teach you more about the Constitution. So that's everything I got from the homeschool thing. And then this is the stuff from the Dollar Tree. So I got this Science for Kids Make Your Own Snow kit. And then another Science for Kids Grow, a Chris Grow Your Own Crystal Tree. Um, both of these we're going to do right around Christmas time, obviously, because that looks like a Christmas tree and that is snow. I'm not sure why they have them now, although they were in a Christmas box. Uh, the box that they were in had 
Christmassy stuff on it. So those are probably from last Christmas, but hopefully they'll still be good. Um, index cards to use as flash cards because, you know, you can never have too many. Um, pack of highlighters. Then I saw these and I had to get them. They're little test tubes with a holder. Um, and we're going to be doing some fun science experiments. And I know that we need test tubes for some of them. So, and my son's favorite color is red. They had blue and black also. And I'll probably honestly go back and get some more. But I just picked up those for now. Then I'm really excited about these. So, these two, first two are both creative writing um, prompts. So this one is just kind of a general creative writing. Um, it tells you kind of the background there and um, gives you something to write about. And then this one is related to the presidents. Um, so gives something about writing, which is really good. Um, this is for geography again. It's United States geography, which is really cool. It talks about time zones. It's got 38 different worksheets. And we also got a science one, science experiments and inventions. It's got 38 different science experiments, and it gives you um, the list of materials that you need, questions, you get to state your hypothesis, and then the procedure, some questions about the, um, some questions to answer after you've done it, and everything like that. And again, this is also grades four through six. So that is everything that I've gotten so far. This was a total of, I think I spent $13 at the Dollar Tree and like $15 maybe at the homeschool fair. So this is like less than $30 in school stuff right here. And I'll make another video soon about the curriculum we're going to use. But this is all supplemental stuff. Obviously none of this is our, you know, main curriculum. But it's all just extra stuff to tie in to give him a little bit extra activities. I like these, these fun activities. These and... Um, some of these games and the Mad Libs and stuff. I'm really excited about all of those because I definitely want to make it fun for him. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll be making a few more homeschool related videos coming up soon and hopefully you enjoy them. So please subscribe, like, and comment if you have any questions or comments. Thank you. Bye.